Hey everyone, it's Suzanne. I'm back with another video and this video is a little haul that I picked up from a nail polish brand and their name is called Geeky Bees Nail Colors and I got this on Etsy. I do have a polish from this brand that I got in like, um, I think it was Polish Gamers Box. So I have I haven't worn it yet, so it's hard to say. Like, I've tried this brand, but I have swatched this brand because um, I do have a polish from them in my collection, but I have not worn it yet. Um, but they had one polish that I had been eyeballing on their um, site <clears throat> for a while, and I finally broke down and got it. Um, excuse my voice. I'm getting over some, some type of something that I've caught. So, excuse my voice. I had to go on and film. I just am so backed up with videos. I just had to get it done. So, I apologize for that. But before we get into the haul, let me go on and show you what's on my nails. So, what is on my nails is a polish from OPI. And this is Seven Wonders of OPI. And it's just really a pretty neutral cream. It's really, really pretty. It kind of has like a, a taupeish, like light lilac lavender vibe to it. Really, really pretty. Just a pretty neutral. So I wound up picking up three, four or five polishes during this haul and let's just get right into it. So the first one I picked up is called Were Chain Linked and this is described as a milky white crelly polish with blue hex glitters in various sizes and tiny black glitters. <clears throat> okay, it looks like a lot of them have conjugated here. So I would definitely like sit this bottle upside down before I painted my nails, but I don't know. It's really, really cute. Just a cute, fun, white curly. Let's see what it looks like on the nails. Let's see um, how many of these blue glitters we'll get without, um, you know, holding it upside down. So you got, we got some of the littler ones and we got one big one, but it flew off over on the side here. But really cute. I like it like that. Like I would be okay without getting any of those big glitters. Um, this is really, really cute. We'll go in with a second coat to see if we're going to get any more. I do think you definitely, if you want some of those bigger glitters, you are definitely going to have to, you know, hold it upside down, you know, or put it upside down for a good 30 minutes is how I would do it. Sometimes I'll leave it upside down like all day if I know I'm going to paint them later that night. Um, really, really just a cute, it's a cute Crelly. I mean, can't go wrong with, um, this Crelly just cannot go wrong with a good white Crelly. Super cute, super cute polish. So again, this is called Were Chain Length. And so the next three were kind of like a trio. And with this trio, you got a bag of like, I don't know. I'm just going to show them to you all at once instead of pulling them up with each one. You got a bag of nail art glitters. Um, whoops. I am not sure which one came with which one, so I'm just going to show them to you all here. Um, I don't know. This looks like it's like more pastel -y vibes. This looks like it's more like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably never use these. I don't know. I might put them in somebody's giveaway. I might try to use them. I don't know. I'll probably keep them, but I don't know. I'll probably never use them. <laughs> um, I don't, like I said, I don't remember which one went with what. And I guess you just kind of place them on these three, these next three polishes wherever you want. Um, I guess. So the first one up is Miracle Romance. And this is described as a white crelly with a golden sparkle and various small pink and blue glitters. I didn't even know when I purchased those that you got the little extra glitter nail art glitters, but maybe I'll do something with them. Um, I just don't know what, but this is just another cute <clears throat> white crelly. So let's see what it looks like. The formula, um, like I said, I have swatched this brand before from, I'm 99% sure it came in a Polish Gamers box. Really, really cute, um, but I just have not worn it. This is cute. The formula is really nice too. Um, no problems there. It's a nice formula. Like, I don't like to really... Oh my gosh, it's really cute. Just super cute. Um, the formula is super nice on these swatch wheels. I don't really like to judge. I mean, I can give you my opinion when I swatch it on a swatch wheel, but I don't really like to give you my true opinion on the formula until I wear it on my nails because there's been several polishes, um, and most of them were mainstream, 
Um, so brands that have been around for years and years and should have their formula, you know, down pat where I swatched it on the swatch wheel and I'm like, oh, it's a good formula. And then I put it on my nails and I'm like, oh, it wasn't really a good formula. So I don't really like to, it's hard to give your true, true feelings about the formula on the swatch wheel, but it does appear to be an amazing formula on the swatch wheel. This one is Miracle Romance. When I wear these in my monthly manis, that's when I'll give you um, my true thoughts on formula. And then I can also be like, you know, if it chipped instantly, you know, that's a no-go for me with polishes. Um, this one is One Last Wish. And this is a delicate soft pink with a yellowish gold sparkle and tiny red glitters. This one is just so cute. I think this one's going to be adorable on the nails. It's just so, like that light, delicate pink. It's just so cute. I think it's just going to be so cute. Okay, here it is in one coat. It's very hard to see with my swatch wheel. Um, being white, I apologize for that, but super in person. I'm telling you, this is like so cute. Um, let me get some of that polish off because I've got a massive amount. Really cute. I have too much polish on there, so I apologize for that, but really, really cute. Just a cute, cute. Look at that. Too much polish. Cute, soft pink. That's going to be I think this is going to be stunning on your nails, this this pink coloring. I just do. So this one is One Last Wish. And then the last one, which was in that little trio, is this one. And this is called Everything Will Definitely Be Okay. And this is a bright and fun hot pink magenta color with a gold shimmer and flecks of gold and copper. This is really pretty. Now, on camera, it's looking super hot pinkish, but in person, it's looking more like the magenta color that they described. So, I'm curious to see what this one looks like on the nails because I'm hoping for more of the hot pink color than the magenta. But, ooh, okay, it is coming off more magenta. I'm not sure if uh, the formula is amazing, really, on the swatch wheel. Um... I'm not sure if I'll love this, though. I have to see it on my nails because I'm not normally a magenta person. So I'll probably put this one. I'm going to give it a second swatch. Um, I don't think it's going to change the color that much. But, um, yeah, it's just going to deepen it up. Oh, my gosh. The formula is super nice on this one. Um, I will probably put this one in my try bucket because I'm not usually... Where it does look fine on my skin tone and pretty, I'm not usually a super magenta person i'm more of a hot pink person but these um you know you could buy them separate but it wasn't much more to get the trio so i knew this one could be one that i you know might not personally like just due to the base color so i will probably put that one in my try bucket but like i said the formula was super nice on that one it was nice on all of them but like i said before i don't really like to 100 judge it 100 judge it 100 judge it until i get it on my actual nails and get a true feel for it. So this one is everything will definitely be okay. If you like magenta purples, you will definitely love that one. So this polish here, this last one, this is the one that I kept eyeballing and I could not get off my mind. And this one is called blueberry banana cream pie. Look at this. It's so cute. It is so cute. This is described as a creamy white curly formula with a soft silvery white sparkle and packed with various sizes of yellow and bright blue glitters. I just thought this one was so stinking cute. I was like, I looked at it and I was like, I'm not going to get it. But then I just could not stop thinking about it. Um, I usually don't go on to Etsy very much um, just because, I don't know, it's not my favorite place to shop. Um, I do like to support small brands, but it's just not my favorite place to shop. Um, but this company or this brand I follow on Instagram. So when she showed this polish, oh my God, it's so cute. When she showed this polish, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I want it. I want it. I want it. And I went to her site and I put stuff in my cart, but then I was like, nope, you do not need it. And I laughed 
but I could not stop thinking about this one. Um, I'm going to do a second coat. This is going to be so cute on the nails. I cannot wait to wear this one. I just could not stop thinking about this polish. So finally I was like, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. Just get it. So I did purchase it. It's super cute. I'm super happy I got it. I cannot wait to wear that on my nails. It is just such a cute polish. But then again, I love a white crelly. I love any type of crelly, but super, super cute. This one again is Blueberry Banana Cream Pie. So those are all the polishes that I picked up from Geeky Bees Nail Color. If you've ever purchased anything from this brand, um, let me know what you think about it. I think the only way you could have gotten anything from this brand is either in their Etsy shop or uh, I believe Polish Gamers is, I don't, yeah, I think Polish Gamers is the only uh, box that this brand is in. I don't think they're in Little Box of Horrors or anything, but let me know if you've purchased from this brand, what you think of them. Um, if you have any favorite from this brand or if you have any other smaller, like I would consider this a smaller indie brand, um, polishes that you really like, let me know about them too. Cause I'd love to look into that brand and, you know, help support smaller indie brands so that they can just grow and become what the bigger indie brands are. But if you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do nail content all the time and I also do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye.